There's a lot of confusion about Lent, particularly these days, since Lent isn't something that all Christians celebrate. Whole denominations sort of ignore Lent. When I was growing up, we almost never talked about it, since my minister thought of Lent as a Catholic mystery sacrament. Very scary. Well, my Sunday school teacher one time mentioned something about, about Lent, and my friend asked why Jesus spent a whole six weeks talking about Lent. What's the big deal about Lent, he kept saying. What's the big deal about Lent? Until she gave up. That was the end of our lesson on Lent. Well, I'm not a big fan of Lent, but I do like the season of Lent. It's a personal time. Over this past year, we have spent a lot of time focusing on the big picture, on the pandemic, on Trump, and Biden, on the election, and now on the vaccines. But the season of Lent is a time we prepare for the Easter season, the triumphal arrival in, in Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Jesus' final meal with his disciples, the crushing realization of his arrest, the devastating death on the cross, and then the miraculous empty tomb. As a way to prepare, sometimes people give up something for Lent. Now, chocolate is almost a favorite Lenten joke. I'll give up chocolate for Lent, someone will say. But that only lasts until someone offers us M&Ms. But an older tradition is fasting. Early monks give up eating food as a recognition of Jesus' 40 days of fasting in the wilderness. Not something I would recommend for the full six weeks of Lent. But fasting on Ash Wednesday, just drinking some juice, is sometimes a good way to focus on the sacrifice that Christ made for us on the cross. Whatever you do, Lent is a time when we focus on ourselves. We look inward, a time of reflection. It's personal. I think of the passage in Matthew that we say, well, we say it every Sunday before we say, the disciples' prayer. Whenever you, go, you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. You know, there's a lot about ourselves that we keep hidden. We have secret thoughts and secret desires and, and secret feelings things we would never say out loud. We have prayers that sometimes we keep just to ourselves. We hide things from one another, even our loved ones. Sometimes we think it's just unimportant. Sometimes we're ashamed of what's inside of us. Sometimes it, we keep it hidden because we're uncertain of what people might say. Maybe it's because we're simply a very private person. We keep things deep inside us and never say them out loud, not even on prayer. But Lent is a time to acknowledge this hidden part of ourselves. God, of course, knows all, but we still think of some things as hidden. And so Lent is a time we can ask some questions and answer them in a prayerful, honest manner. Where have we fallen short of our high standards? Where have we fallen short of the standards we have set for others? Is there a secret that we are withholding, that we are avoiding talking about to ourselves? Is there a secret 
that we are even say, not saying to God in our prayers? What might be hidden so deep inside us that we are reluctant, even embarrassed, to bring forth? These are hard questions to ask. And as we talk to God during Lent, it's often a good time to name this hidden part of ourselves, to name it out loud. Not so much because God needs to hear us say it. God doesn't need to hear us say it. God knows about this. But it's good to vocalize our deepest thoughts and fears and concerns because we need to hear it. It helps bring them to the surface. So the se season of Lent is a good time to clear the air between us and God so that we will be prepared for the Easter miracle. Amen.